Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. On Sunday, we heard the story of the disciples who saw Jesus on the road to Emmaus. They were out for a walk. So, let's take some time now to go for a walk. Okay, we're going to stand up. You're going to find walk. some space and I want to see everyone walking like a duck. Walk like a duck, quack, 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 quack. Okay, now we're going to walk like a bear. Oh. Bums in the air. Walk like a bear. Walk like a bear. Walk like a bear. Now we are going to walk like a crab. Crab walk. You can see over here. Walk like a crab. Mom, I'm doing it. You are doing it. Good job. Walk like a crab. No, nope, I'm Walk down. Walk like a crab. And now we're going to stand up by your cushions. And we are going to do high knees. And walk with your knees up high. Knees up high. Knees high, up high, high everyone. All right. High. And our last one knees is a silly walk. Do your silly walk. Any silly walk. Any silly walk. <laughs> you really don't. Okay. Alright, so let's take a seat. So two of Jesus' disciples That's true. were walking down the road to a village called Emmaus. They were talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. Listen to our Bible story from the Gospel Project to hear who joined them on their walk. Hey friends, it's me, Megan. And I'm Jessie. Check out my new book, Megan. Oh, I like it. And I love the title. It's all about Jesus? Why is that such a great title? Well, because the Bible really is all about Jesus. Every story in the Bible points us to Jesus. Cool, I didn't know that. Some of Jesus' friends did not know that either. In today's Bible story, Jesus showed two of his friends how all the scriptures point to him. Let me tell you about it. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, two of his friends were walking down the road to a village called Emmaus. They were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked, Jesus came up and began walking with them. Jesus' friends did not know that the man was Jesus. What are you talking about? Jesus asked. The friends stopped walking. They looked sad. One of them said, Are you the only person who doesn't know what has happened? The friends told him about Jesus. Jesus had said and done many powerful things. The religious leaders had killed him. They had hoped Jesus was the Messiah God had promised to send. Of course, Jesus already knew everything they were telling him. The friends explained that some of the women from their group went to Jesus' tomb, but it was empty. They saw angels who told them Jesus is alive. Don't you believe what the prophet said? Jesus asked. They said this is what had to happen to the Messiah. Then, starting with the words Moses and all the prophets wrote long ago, Jesus helped his friends understand what God's word taught about himself. Jesus went to the village with the men and stayed with them. When they sat around a table to eat, Jesus took bread and thanked God for it. Then he broke the bread into pieces and gave it to them. Then the men knew this was Jesus. All of a sudden, Jesus disappeared. The friends said to each other, didn't we feel warm inside when he was talking with us on the road and explaining God's word to us? Jesus' friends went home right away. They found the others who had followed Jesus and told them what had happened. Jesus is alive! 
The whole Bible is about Jesus. All along, God had a plan to send His Son to rescue people from sin. No matter what part of the Bible we read, it all points to what Jesus did for us in His living, dying, and coming alive again. Okay, let's have some review questions. Did Jesus' friends know the man walking with them was Jesus? No. No, no they didn't. God prevented them from recognizing that it was Jesus. Okay, second question. Jesus helped his friends understand that the Bible teaches about whom? Truth. Jesus. Who does the Bible teach us about? Jesus. 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 Okay. Jesus. Number three. What did Jesus do after the men realized who he was? Disappeared. He disappeared. Vanished. 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 Okay, and the last question. What did the men do after they realized they had been with Jesus? They yeah. went to tell the crowds that were following Jesus that he's alive. They went and told everyone they could find. They went to spread the news that Jesus was alive. Jesus' death and resurrection shouldn't have surprised the disciples. Jesus spoke about it metaphorically and plainly. After Jesus had risen, he appeared to two disciples walking to Emmaus. God prevented them from recognizing who Jesus was so that Jesus could explain the scriptures to them and how everything points to him. Remember, the Bible is not just a collection of unrelated stories. It is one book and it is all about Jesus. When Adam and Eve sinned, God began working out his plan to send Jesus to rescue people from sin. All the Old Testament points forward to Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The time when Jesus would bring God's promised salvation for sinners. Here are some things for you to talk about as a family. Why did Jesus die on the cross? And also the fact that Jesus taught that all scriptures point to him. I hope you have a great rest of the day and we'll see you next week. Bye.